Okay, so um, I need to share my screen and uh, over here. And Danielle says Capri was too specific. No, it's all right. Capri was still good. Okay, and so first we wanted to introduce ourselves. We are Lou and Tammy Santini. We consider Hello. ourselves destination wedding business coaches, so to speak. We built our own destination wedding based business, Paradise Getaways. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have created the 20K System and Toolkit, which is a destination wedding business building course. And then we've yeah. also created the Destination Wedding and Honeymoon Content Hero, which is done for you romance travel content. Right. So we wanted to introduce ourselves for those of you who have never met us. So um, that's that's our introduction there. Hello. And we're glad that you're here with us today. Right. And just tell you a little bit about us. We started our business back in 2008. And since then, we've done dozens of destination weddings and honeymoons. We've earned some yeah. great awards and taken some amazing trips. I'm a top 100 star performer in the U.S. for classic vacations. Yeah. Um, and that trip allowed us to go on a really great bucket list trip. Loved to it. Hawaii. You guys, Hawaii is still, I mean, I've been to, I haven't been to some of these amazing bucket list places we've been talking about, but Hawaii out of all the places I've been to, mm -hmm. Hawaii is one of, it's probably my favorite right now. The beauty. And I, I love St. Lucia, but I still like Hawaii a little bit better. I know they say St. Lucia is the Hawaii of the Caribbean, but mm -hmm. honestly, there's only one Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. It sure is. And we, I've also received multiple GIBC awards, been named the top 10 agent for Charisma, um, top 23 Chairman's Royal Club uh agent over the years three for, times in three a row. time chairman's royal club yep. and have been named also the number one top wedding seller in the u.s for playa resorts yeah and and that was i still remember that you guys that was a shock we were invited to the awards they kept pushing yeah. us to come to the awards and we're like my gosh yeah. why are they so aggressive about getting us these awards all right fine we, we've already been to two other reward ceremonies already yes. and we're like kind of burned out from awards but we'll go and then we're, I'm just talking at this table. We're talking to a bunch of other agents and Tammy's name gets called. And we're like, we didn't think she was in the right. I was like, it. yeah, the top three or whatever. Yeah. And so I was like, was oh amazing. my gosh. And then all of a sudden they called my name and I was like. And then she was a top one. I know. <laughs> I'm like, what? So that was cool. I, That was really. Yeah, and I'm so glad we went because we totally were thinking we weren't going to go. We we're like, ah, you know. Right. We, we weren't going to. We're like, yeah, we're kind of traveled out. Yeah. But. Yeah. Anyway, so we've had some great, uh, 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 re 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 if I can talk, reviews over the years as well. But right. that's not how it all started. Let's get real for a moment. It did not start that way. No. So when we first started our business, it was really, we kind of decided at the end of 2007, we made it official the beginning of 2008. Um, mm -hmm. But we were also a newly married fa family. We were a blended family. We were. Five daughters and... Um, yeah. And so we came together and decided to to um, choose the three bedroom, one bath house that was the best out of the two. I had a three bedroom, one bath house, and I had one. to, and we chose his. His was just a little bit bigger, <laughs> little so bit, thir barely bigger. Thirteen hundred square foot, three bedroom, one bath home, and yeah. seven of us living there. And poor Lou was outnumbered completely. I was, I was very outnumbered. Lou was a school teacher at the time. Yep. And yep. then what else did you do, Lou? I taught kindergarten, first grade for almost 25 years. Yep. Oh, no, I did teach. And I had like a fourth grade and fifth grade year in there. Right when I first started, I had fifth grade. But anyway, yeah, 25 years. And But to make extra money yeah. with a family of seven on a teacher's salary, it was not easy. And so I DJed weddings yep. on the weekends. And that's what he did. That's what we got to do. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. <laughs> I still have it. I still got it. You folks. still got it. Yeah. Sometimes I ask him to pull his DJ voice off. <clears throat> okay. But as you know, as you heard, we started around 2008. So there was a recession going on, right? And there travel really agencies was. were closing their doors. People literally right. thought we were crazy. Like Lou would have conversations with, with his coworkers. Like, what are you doing? Starting well, we, an agency. we carpooled. And so we, I, I taught in a school district 30 minutes away from where we live. Mm -hmm. So there were a couple other teachers down here that lived in my area. So we would carpool. And while we're in the carpool, I remember them asking me, you want to start a travel business? Mm -hmm. Aren't they going? Isn't everybody closing the doors? Why are you? And that was, yeah, back. I mean, that was, that was back when the internet was kind of taking storm. Right. And so we knew we needed to do things differently. We just really <clears throat> right. couldn't grasp exactly what we needed to do. But we did discover quickly that this was a really big world that we didn't know everything about. Right. And so we had to decide on a niche and we decided ultimately on the romance travel niche. And we specifically 
focused in the wedding industry on honeymoons initially. That's where I felt comfortable. And of course, we sought the help of experts because that's what you do, because right. we literally had no experience, not a clue on how to do any of it. Right. And then we've like, oh, wait, we got to get a website. You know, this is a big part of today's oh, yeah. online world. You know, we got to have a website, which back then was ridiculously expensive. Oh, my gosh. And we kept doing yeah. them over and over <clears throat> again because we thought, our website was the problem to why we weren't getting leads, right? right? And then we, of course, affiliated ourselves with different bridal shops. We did all sorts of different networking groups. And we did do wedding shows. We did bridal Lots shows. Lots of wedding shows. Lots back of in those. Because that's what the <clears throat> experts told us to do. But right. they were very expensive, very yes. time consuming. And there was no guarantee of an ROI, right? right? And unfortunately, what happened was we literally, we just ended up connecting with or not right. always but we often were attracting tire kickers people that were just taking our time kickers. taking our you know information and ghosting us in one year right. lou signed us up god love him i still love you honey um Thanks. <laughs> for, no i signed us up for about four four bridal shows maybe five bridal it, shows i think in a it row. was six I, the, my memory serves me <clears throat> it was six in a row six weekends in a row I came or home, at least six in the span of like yeah, three months. Yeah, it was crazy. I came home one weekend. I was absolutely exhausted. I just wanted to put my feet up, but we yeah. had to clean the gym for our daughter. So two of our daughters at the time were in competitive gymnastics and the, com right. the, the fees were expensive. We simply just couldn't afford it. So what we did was we bartered our time and we bartered we with the, um, the gymnastics studio and said, hey, what can we do? Our kids have talent. We want them. Well, to be and actually, I think the gymnastics, yeah, the, the gymnastics studio came to us and was like, well, hey, we know you're having trouble paying their tuition, but we have a need. So if you would like to come mm -hmm. every weekend and clean the gym for us, vacuum it. And it was a big. Yeah. You guys, this big, this gym was not like a small workout facility yeah <laughs> this gym was like an airplane hangar yes. i mean it was that big it and was... there were mats everywhere and big platforms yeah. you know because the kids they had a lot of kids that would do mm -hmm. different so anyway they so said our whole family you know, would go, get together uh -huh. on sunday evenings and we, we would go over there and clean the gym so as you can imagine i was exhausted i was beside myself and i was frustrated i i'm not gonna lie to you here we were we were doing what the experts told us to do. We were investing our time and money in the things that they told us to do. Right. And we were working hard. We were being diligent. And here we were still at a place where we had to right. barter our time in order to afford to pay for <sighs> our kids' talent. And that right. was very frustrating for me. And, you know, ultimately. Well, that day, the last bridal, I think it might have been the last bridal show, but we were exhausted. So mm -hmm. then we couldn't just relax after unloading. You guys know. Right. You have to unload up the car, go to the bridal show, unload everything, set it all up, tear it all down, put it back in the car, come home, and then unload you got to store it. Again. <laughs> you don't leave it in your car, right? Right. So then we had to unload it and put it in the garage where we kept it. And then it was like, oh, well, we can't relax. In a few minutes after dinner, we need to go to the gym and clean that. And that mm -hmm. was kind of Tammy's breaking point. Yes, it was. And I was just, I just cried out to God. I'm like, what am I doing? Like, is this going to pay yeah. off? Why? <clears throat> You know, is this a profitable industry to be in? Like, why do, would I work this hard to still be in this place? Right. And right. I simply just had to quiet my little self down. <laughs> and God did tell me destination wedding. So basically he was like, focus on that. So that yeah. was essentially what we decided to do. We decided to, um, you know, basically add that service of destination weddings. Right. Because Tammy had business. avoided it. Like, I mean, we were still fairly new. We were a couple of years into the travel industry. And Tammy was, she was doing some honeymoons, not a ton of them, but she was trying, you know, but she avoided destination weddings because mm -hmm. of the fear of how much work it might right. take or right. she had to be there. And once God kind of said, no, you need to do this, go in this direction. Mm -hmm. Once we discovered it was not as bad as we thought. And then- right. Anyway, I'll let Tammy get the rest. Right. And so literally what we found out was a few weddings a year was all it took to get us out of that financial <clears throat> turmoil that we had been experiencing. Right. And one of our very first destination weddings was Brandy and James, and they had like 30 people join them to celebrate with them in Mexico. And we made $5,500. Yeah. And Chuck and Aaron had like 20 people come with them and we made $6,700. So you can imagine like what? What's right. happening here? Like, this is like. And that was back then. People were making a lot more money now. Huh? Finances that could really help us. And Kevin and Shannon. Yeah. They had like 40, 45 people made $7,500. So our life completely, completely changed. 
It really did. Yeah, it completely changed. You guys, we went from bartering our time for gymnastics tuition to paying our car off in cash. There was our first sandals vehicle mm -hmm. we ever had. They had it wrapped and <coughs> paid that car off in cash. Um, we were able to help our daughters and help them pay for their college in cash. Mm -hmm. um, we were able to retire. I retired early from school. Remember, I was a school teacher. Mm -hmm. That is my picture when I retired from teaching kindergarten. And there's my cake there. And I still remember that. I still remember <laughs> Waddles Park Elementary School. That's where I taught it. So. Yep. And then we were able to finally upgrade from our, yes. I say, small but cute, three-bedroom, one-bath home yes. to our first dream home, which has three bathrooms. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. And then we paid cash to remodel our, our kitchen. And of course, you know, being in this industry, the perks, we've had amazing, yes. memorable trips with our children and our family that we never, ever would have done, if, been able no. to do if we weren't in this industry. Bucket list vacations. Yes. Bucket list vacations we never would like, have. Yeah, like we talked to. about. Real change happened in our business. Real change happened in our life. And that's why, you know, a lot of people wonder, like, why are you coaching? Like, we are successful in our travel business, right? And in doing what we do. But the fact of the matter is, is that change happened in our life. And we want to share that with others because we remember what yeah. it was like and how frustrating it was to be in that place where anyway and we so that's why we want to share and i want to apologize to anyone if you have questions or anything we the way the screens are we can't see them yet but we will get to so stick around don't leave we will get to all the questions right i promise so we're going to skip ahead here i want to talk to you about um making the formula because i told you i was going to share with you yeah uh, a formula to make twenty thousand dollars or more for one destination wedding so a lot of people ask us why do you call your program the 20k system and toolkit right. it's because you can make 20k from one destination one wedding. wedding so <laughs> and we our latest destination wedding is scheduled to make 30 i think it's still on track for yeah. thirty thousand dollars yep so we might change the name of our program to 30k but it's uh, we have a $30,000 wedding on the books that's going to be traveling here this this uh, spring. Right, right, exactly. So there's four ways essentially to make money with every destination wedding. Right. You can make money from the travel commission, which is going to be the bulk of how we make money as destination wedding specialists. Then you can also make wedding commission. Not every resort brand offers this, but this actually will add uh, a significant amount to your bottom line. Sure. There is a professional planning fee. Those of you who are in our community know that I preach that and I show you exactly what to do in your business so that you right. can charge a healthy professional planning fee. And then there's opportunities for bonus commission. So I'm going to show you a right. couple of real examples of how this works. So Jeff and Deanna, were referred to me. And so I gave them a discount off of my professional planning service. And right. so that was $1,500. They had a hundred guests join them for their wedding. So we made $19,003. There's a bonus commission from the resort of $810 and a wedding commission of $2,543. So the total right. earned from this one couple right. reaching out to me was $23,856. Plus we earned points for right. uh, di free and dis discounted travel. Right. That was a great day. Yeah. So with the wedding commission, I just want to circle back to that real quick. With this $2,543, yeah. basically this couple, Jeff and Deanna, spent $25,430 on their destination wedding at a specific resort. And that right. resort gave me a 10% commission on every single thing that they did. So right. the, the, the lighting, the flowers, the the music, um, dance floor, uh, food, all of that. They basically spent 25000 and I got a kickback of 10%, even though I did none of that planning. Okay. Right. Hannah and David. I mean, I'm sure you had to help them a little bit figure out what they wanted or anything. I helped guide them on choosing yeah. a package and connected them with the on-site team and, and all of those types of things. But obviously, I'm not the one coordinating that or, do, right. or going there and putting it all together or anything like that. Right. And then Hannah and, you don't and David, have to. right. Hannah and David, I had a professional planning fee for them of 1500 uh, commission for 61 guests was $14,552. Yeah. A wedding commission of $2,640, a total earned $18,692. And again, earning points for discounted and free travel. Right. So as you can see, literally planning destination weddings, it, 
completely changed our lives. It and, can skyrocket right. your income and double and triple your revenue. And we understand. Well, actually, we'll get to that. I mm -hmm. see the next slide coming up. So. And you, yes, and you can even get bonus checks. This is me on stage getting a bonus check of eight thousand dollars from um, just in, an increase in sales from the previous year. So it right. really had opened up a whole oh, world wait, of possibilities. Back, no, yes, I really wanted to talk to what you. What is it? Right, go right there. Okay. So what I was going to say is, obviously, we know. You know, though, that not every wedding can be a twenty thousand right. dollar wedding. I mean, we realize that you can have a five thousand dollar wedding, a ten, fifteen. The average right. is probably going to hover around ten to fifteen, depending mm -hmm. on how many people, which resort. But if you had a goal of having a six figure salary, you would, and you made, you know, twenty thousand dollars per wedding, then you would be able to easily have a hundred thousand dollar income. Right, but, or even yeah, ten at ten thousand, or ten, average, right? But mm -hmm. or ten weddings so, at ten thousand will give you the six figure income, and so really just five to ten weddings a year, depending right. on how much you earn, will give you a six figure income. Right, exactly. So I want to quickly share with you. So again, if you don't have your pens and pe and pens and paper yet, I'm going to share with you here real quick seven core ingredients to have a six figure destination wedding business working with five to 10 wedding couples per year. So okay. over the years, a lot of people came to us, came to me and said, Hey, I'm interested in getting involved in the travel business. Can you sit down and talk with me? You know, local yeah. people, I would go, I would sit with them right. at the coffee shop and I would list out and tell them my exact strategy of what I did in my business <clears throat> right. to to make the kind of money that I made, to have the type of lifestyle that I had, to be able to retire my husband from being a full-time uh, teacher to work our business uh, yeah. full-time. And I would dish it all out just for, I would just share it with them. And what would happen? They would never, ever respond to me and ever reach back out to me. All right. Why do you think that was, Lou? I think you scared them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I Probably think, right. <laughs> I think it's like what's happening in all of today's society. People want the reward. People want something valuable, but they don't want to have to work for it. A right. lot of people, now not, I'm not saying all of you are, I'm just saying the people that were, mm -hmm. they'd say, how do I make that kind of money? How do I have that kind of life? What do I, how do I build a business like that? And Tammy would sit down with them and take her time and do that. Mm -hmm. And they, oh, that's kind of, oh, I don't know if I want to work that hard. Or I don't know if I want to go. Be that patient. Right. I think the people that the planners that are in our community, they're not are, like that. they're not like that. They're hungry. No. They're driven. They they're are. motivated. They want to achieve something and they're willing to implement right. what it takes to do that. So these are the seven core ingredients that we put into our business that we recommend that yeah. you do the same. OK, so that you can have the type of success that you deserve to have. So. The first thing we're just going to quickly touch on these, Lou. Just yeah, that's I'm fine. just letting him know up front. As, so, guys, I'm reading between the lines. Lou, don't talk. <laughs> that's really what she's saying. <laughs> Lou, just don't don't make any comments. Just let me get through this. That's, oh, that's what she's saying. No, no, I'm not saying that. You can. I'm just saying that I want to quickly touch on these. So, mm -hmm. the first thing was to discover our ideal wedding couple. And how many of you, I'm sure, have heard of this before, right? But here's the thing. We truly are not meant to work with every destination wedding couple. And you shouldn't right. have no. to. Okay? I agree. So I'm going to share with you what we discovered who our ideal wedding client was. Okay? So after really kind of, you know, having a lot of trial and error, to be honest with you. We, a lot of trial We error. determined our ideal and, and wedding headaches. client. Yes. And frustrations. <laughs> Yes. was struggling with where to go for their destination wedding. They were on information overload. They were stressed out and they were maxed out. So yeah. once we figured that out, like what, who they were, what they were struggling with, what their problem was, their biggest challenge was, right? That's how we determined, okay, we're good at helping people figure out where to go for their destination wedding and getting them out of that place of right. frustration and overwhelm. So once we had this defined, then we were able to attract them, right? We were able to create messaging to attract those specific couples, couples who would be willing to pay up to $2,500 for our professional services, couples right. who respected me, treated me like a professional. They valued my expertise and my serv services. So it made a right. huge, huge difference. And the joy I had, even in just the people that I worked with, right, by attracting who it was that I desired to work with, who I felt like I could help the most. So number one thing you want to do is discover who your ideal wedding couple yes. is. Because otherwise, you guys, if, uh, can I talk? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, otherwise, if you do not know who you really want to go after, and I know a lot of people in our 20K community understand, we talk about this all the time, but mm -hmm. it's your starting point. Right. You're just wasting your time and money when you're going after everybody in the world right. or everyone that's getting married or everyone that's even doing a destination that wants to do a destination wedding. You're not, you're looking for a specific right. couple that's going to identify what your unique skill set is and in, in the giving them the wedding of their dreams. Yes. And that's one thing we teach in our 20K program. And we get you to nail that down. And since we've done this, our planners have seen so much quick success. Yes. Getting booked, getting their planning piece. And we'll get to that later. But I'm just mm -hmm. saying this is where it all starts. Right. And it doesn't just happen, right? You have to be <clears throat> intentional. You have right. to put a process in place because the second ingredient you want to have is you want to have a floodgate of leads coming in while you sleep. So we right. had to create a lead generation system. Now we talk about this all the time. You want couples who are looking online right. to find you. It doesn't, they don't have to be local. They can be anywhere in your country. Okay. That you want them to find you. So you have to have a specific strategy and a process for that. Well, and one we... of the biggest things that we are always talking about in mm -hmm. that is that free offer. Well, and go back real quick to that couple. Okay. Me. Because you guys, one thing is what we discovered is we're like, I want to get in front of these couples before they go to the wedding shows, before a bunch of my competition starts marketing to them. Right. I want them to see my business first. So right. what we did is we developed a strategy to get that couple to find us online long before. Like, so they're engaged or maybe they're even thinking about getting engaged, but they're already searching online before they get engaged. They, they have a pretty good feeling they're going to get engaged, right? Let's face it, wedding season is right around the corner. A lot of these young ladies or men, gentlemen, whoever to get, they know they have a feeling this could be this, this could be right, it. We, right. I'm he's probably gonna ask me to marry him. Mm -hmm. So what's great about this is we decided that we need to get out in front of them. Well, how do you do that? Now, what Tammy was talking about. Several different ways, but one of the number one things that we are always talking about here, and if you ever join us on a Facebook Live, you heard right. this a time or two, right. <laughs> is to have a free offer. So you yes. need a free resource that you know your ideal wedding couple won't be able to right. resist. So this is why you need to know who your ideal wedding couple is. That's why it's so important. You won't be able to create right. something that that's going to attract them. Yes. Right. And a matter of fact, uh, charity, I just saw a testimony from one of our 20 gay planners charity. It's on our 20 gay page. Um, she said that when she developed her lead magnet, she just started instantly getting leads and got booked and books has booked five destination weddings. Right. Um, that's fantastic. I think fantastic. But the lead magnet, but yes, you have to know who your ideal couple mm -hmm. is because not any lead magnet's going to talk to them. You want the lead magnet to speak directly to the couple they need right. and you have to find out what is the problem, their biggest pain point mm -hmm. with their destination wedding and you solve the problem in the lead magnet. Right. They're going to give you the good email. They're not going to give you the crap email right. that they give at wedding shows, right? Or trade shows. We all have done it. We've all given the hotmail address. They're not going to give you that. They're going right. to give you their Gmail and they're going to look for the answer to come in their inbox and they're going to put you in their, uh, they're going to take you out of their promotions folder and put you in their inbox. Right. That's why the lead bank is important because you have to be able to email these people. You have to get their your email in front of them. Yeah, to, and it sets you apart as an expert. Yes, as it, well. and it also yes creates the, your expertise mm -hmm. for them too. So it's a valuable piece of information made specifically to help your ideal client overcome an obstacle. So here was what our. Um, lead magnet was for insider secrets. Right. Well, to it still discover, is. We need to change it. I know. For insider secrets to discover the perfect location for your destination wedding or honeymoon without stress or overwhelm. Now, based right. on the description I gave you of who our ideal wedding couple was earlier, you could see where this would be a good match for what they would want. Right. So the next thing that we have to do is to close those leads and turn right. those leads into actual clients, right? Into actual right. bookings. And one of the things that I wanted to do was do this in a no pressure, non-salesy, right. non-sleazy way. So the, the core ingredient that you essentially need to have in your business is to have a consultation process. We talk about this in our program, but this process that we developed in our business allowed me to be able to close these leads um, at 85% and higher. So when I, I would did. consult with them, 
85 percent that's probably lower than what it normally it really is but i just wanted to be you know realistic yeah. uh over the years like i couldn't really formulate how and, many and people, obviously but... you get you're going to get better at it the more mm -hmm. about this is one of the things many 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 of our very successful 20k planners mm -hmm. when they join our program and they learn how to close that consultation and get paid that fee their closing rate jumps mm -hmm. up and it helps you to weed out tire kickers if you're tired <laughs> of dealing very with much. people who are just fishing for information taking right. your time taking your energy and then ghosting you, then this is the process that you need to put in place in your business to avoid that. And we've and, talked about this with you mm -hmm. before that, you know, when someone calls us because your phone rings and if you're a little hungry for a sale, you might want to try to get that sale on the phone. We don't, you don't want to do that. You want to make them because they could be a tire kicker and then a tire kicker is going to waste. You could spend two weeks on some mm -hmm. kind of trip idea for these people mm -hmm. and then they ghost you. You don't do that. And they're like got somebody else working on it too at right. the same time. They called and four, all... other, four other yeah, travel agents. So what you want to do is they call you on the phone and we talk about this. You tell them, hey, talk to them for a few minutes. Be nice. Welcome. You know, nice to meet you, blah, 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 blah. But then like, hey, listen, I work my consultation. I'm currently working on my other clients, uh, fulfilling all the, need, all the needs I have for my other clients right now. So they have a great wedding, but I'm happy to meet with you by consultation. Uh, where can I send my link to where you can schedule? Now, if they follow your process, they're probably not going to be a tire kicker. Mm -hmm. If they don't follow your process and they just want an answer and they don't do it, that means they're probably a tire kicker. And that's how you right. one way to weed them out. So weed those them out. And then you want to master right. the art of conducting essentially a, um, and there is a framework to follow to right. conduct a, con a consultation effectively right. to naturally sell your services without feeling like you're selling them and without your clients feeling like they're being sold too. Right. So here's a, um, a testimony from Ivalyn. She's part of our 20 K system. She wanted yeah. to share an update in the Facebook group. She had two consultations, one booked with me. The other decided to go with an agent that doesn't charge a fee. I'm okay with that. If they don't see the value in working with me, they're right. not my ideal client. Right. The one that is working with me has a larger budget of $30,000 right. and wow. more guests, hundred to 120 versus a $10,000 budget and 40 guests. So this is, awesome. this is the kind of response you want to be able to have like, Hey, if they're not, if they don't want to work with me, that's fine. So another secret ingredient or core ingredient was to the knowledge of the, the best venue. So obviously this took a little bit of trial and error to figure out as we were new in the industry, but eventually right. we figured that out and we were able to give our clients that fa fairy tale wedding. But here's the thing that we realized when we partnered with the right resorts and the right brands, they right. made us look like rock stars, which made us get those really great reviews, yeah. but it also gave our clients unforgettable experiences which that made them happy which gave made them want to give right. us um you know referrals and that sort of thing yeah you don't want to send your wedding couples to resorts that are not going to give them a good experience mm -hmm. it's just bad for everybody so knowing those properties well and even if you've never been to any you know there's lots of ways but obviously getting down on the property is the best way but there's lots of training out there for you. But that's so why, yeah. Take advantage of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And that's why in the 20K system, we share with you exactly who you should get started with in terms of right. partnering with certain brands because we've been there. We dealt with those people. We don't want you to have to have the headaches and, the, and all of that stuff and waste your time and, and energy on that anymore. So the, right. next, um, the, the next thing that we did core ingredient wise was we learned the system. We learned how to leverage group contracts for our favor. So if you've ever right. done a wedding group, then you know that there are some perks and some things that your clients could, could get. Well, once I figured out how to leverage that to really partner with my couple wedding couple, it maximized my sales. It maximized the amount of guests that came to the wedding and didn't book outside of the wedding group and, right. you know, do their own DIY thing. And then ultimately that maximized the 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 um, benefits and the perks that my clients got, which made them again, love me even more, make me look like I'm, you know, their hero. Right. So and it's going to make you look like the hero too, right. to your couples. So, right. It's going to help to increase those profits, keep right. those guests um, from going rogue. And right. then also you'll be able to learn how to then easily set up and coordinate group travel. Once you st start understanding the process, that was something that we, sure. we had to implement some different, different systems into our business 
and uh, understanding the whole process will help you to. And to some of you do have done group travel. Mm -hmm. It's you're just going to learn how to take group travel and flip it into your destination. Right, and you'll be able to, yeah, just do any type of travel, really, in all honesty, right. any type of group travel, once you know how to do all of that. And then, of course, maximizing the profits. Like we shared right. our story, like when we're when we're doing certain uh, working with certain types of brands, we're going to make more money. And yeah. um, so we know who is going to pay us the most. And that doesn't mean that that's who we're going to offer. But um, we it's it's good to have that knowledge, because if you don't have it, then you're going to miss out on potentially some money to make. Sure, you this, don't, you don't want to leave money on the table. Right. And so some of these resort brands, like I say, that you want to partner with are going to make your life easier by having technology available to you. And like I've mentioned before, like you're going to create your own referral ne network. I think that was one of the biggest things that we right. weren't expecting in our business to happen was that we had, you know, all of a sudden you, you have one couple come to you, but with them comes 50, 100 people. Yes. All those 50 or 100 people get to know you in some capacity. They like they had yes. a good experience. So then they like you. They come back to you for other trips or they start referring you to other people. All of a right. sudden, our business, like the snowball effect of that was way, way more than we and, anticipated. And, you know, you end up not even having to advertise or spend money on the knot or any of those places or wedding, uh, wedding vibe mm -hmm. or any. I mean, you don't have to spend money advertising after this gets rolling, which is, you know, you save it, make even more because you're not spending money. Right. And then, of course, another set, core ingredient in today's world that you've got to have in place are these social channels. You yeah. want to be the celebrity, the expert, the authority, mm -hmm. and you want to leverage these social channels to do that. Right. So we had, you know, to get in front of those couples and figure out how to do that. And we had to, of course, do that by offering value first, giving helpful information. That's what you want to do yeah. on social media. Give value first, give helpful information. Right. That way you can become that go-to authority and expert that because they you are don't, looking for. You don't have to push specials and stuff like that on social right. media. If you're going after the wedding couple, they're not looking for a special. They unless they're if they're cheapies, then they are and you're not, mm -hmm. they're not your ideal client. But they're looking for help to get their wedding done. So the more right. content you put out on having a great destination wedding, or I know this, this is an amazing resort for your wedding, or these are five things you could do to transfer your dress on a desk, you know, whatever you do, mm -hmm. they're going to come to you as the expert because right. they're going to trust you that you know how to help them. Right. And they're going to find your content and then they're going to schedule the consultation right. with you. And that is what you want to have happen. So yes. we implemented these seven core ingredients of discovering who our ideal client couple was. Right. We created that process to track them while we slept. We Which they did how to effortlessly sell our services with a consultation process, right. determine the best venues to partner with. We leveraged the group contract so that we increased our profits and benefits. We aligned right. ourselves with the best brands and suppliers, and we became that expert and authority. These are the right. seven ingredients that we implemented. And that resulted in us attracting awesome couples like Eugene and Tanisha. Yeah who said that I was the best in the industry. Tammy is the best in the industry. How do they know that? They don't know that. They just really felt that I was the best in the industry. <laughs> right. Because number one, she handled the wedding well. And then the resort itself that we partnered with gave them a great job. Right. So they're going to think the same about you. We're right. not trying to brag. We're saying this is you mm -hmm. in these situations when you do it right and have the right partners. This is what happens to you too. Right. Exactly. And Amy and Nico, said, thank you so much for all your help. Not only did we have the best 10 days of our life, but our con guests continue to rave about their trips as well. And they had 50 guests join them and I earned $12,000 from that. And Carrie and Sonia, they were um, just a, uh, the just the two of them. Uh, yeah. Just, anyway, what do you want to call that? Engagement, elopement package. That's what you yeah. would call that. Said but, that it was but then they did a uh, decision running too. Yeah, that was the elopement, essentially. Was the elopement for two. Yeah. And so the $2,500 opportunities really are endless. Uh, once you learn how to do this, you can do all sorts of different types of travel, right? Once you learn how to do this, you can do um, any type of group right. trip. You can do um, honeymoons. You can do vow renewals, elopements. You can send people anywhere you want to. You can work anywhere from anywhere you want to. And that right. really essentially is the the gist of of um, you know being a destination wedding specialist. And a lot of people are like, "Hey, 
I don't know if I can do this. And I, I feel you. I understand where you're coming from there. How I felt that way. Right. But I'm here to tell you that you can do this. It is possible. If the two of us who had right. zero experience in the destination in, in travel period can do this and put these things in place, then you certainly can as well. Yes. So um, did you want to go um, for questions real quick, Lou, or should yeah, we? Yeah, let's do some questions. Then we'll okay. Go. I know. Sorry, guys. We're a little old. Go ahead and let us Live. know if you have any questions. And then I wanted to let you know that we have an awesome opportunity for you today. It's a special deal. So let me close out of that. Yeah. And... So, yeah, just let it. So take some questions. Obviously, we're going through a lot of some of you know our story. Some of you are part of our 20K system. Um, All right. Good. Sharice said she just got a phone call yesterday for a party of 40. Awesome. Sharice, that's huge. 40 people. That's fantastic, Sharice. Awesome. And Danielle, does the wedding commission come from the resort? Yes. Oh, so question, wedding Danielle. commission will come from the resort. You do have to have everything set up properly and not every resort is going to offer a wedding commission. And some of them will be limited. Some resorts are going to offer yeah. you a commission just on the wedding package. Some are going to offer you a commission on every single thing that the bride and groom spend. Some will not offer any type of commission. And sometimes it depends on the country and then also on the um, actual resort brand. So, um, but you, right. I never allowed like the financial, like, oh, I'm going to make more money if I recommend this product to my clients versus this one. Right. I always wanted to specific, really find them the place that was really going to be best for them, regardless of if I would make right. extra money or, or not. And the reason why though, is because even if you make a little less because you picked a resort that was best for them, but didn't take, didn't take the incentive they gave you. It's better because those couples are going to be so happy. They're going to recommend you. You're going to get more business, and make more money by doing what's best for your client than doing always what's best for the resort offer they're giving. And then so another great question. Did you visit the destinations before you booked yeah, the wedding? Uh, no, I right. did not. Not all of them. I did not. Eventually, as I've been in the business for a lot longer, I was able to get out and do a lot more traveling, sure. which made a big difference. But initially, no, I just had to go with, you know, trusting what I was finding, doing the webinars and researching. And that's how I made a lot of mistakes, ultimately. So now that I, that's why I'm right. so, that's why we're trying I, to help you guys avoid yeah, the trial and error. That's why we, we do what we do in our program to show people what they have. Uh, what's a good place to go? And we're still looking um, at all your questions. Let so. me just see. Okay. So Danielle said she's a um, teacher by trade as well. Oh, she is. Danielle, okay. that's all. Kindred spirit. Um, let's that's see awesome. here. Okay. Is the wedding guest commission from the room block safe booked? Yes. Yeah. So you set up a group and then that's how you make the, the, um, the funds from the, from the guests from their travel. So that's yeah. the majority the travel commission from all the wedding <clears throat> guests travel. That's where the majority of the income comes from when it comes right. to what we do. Right. Um, any resistance from couples planning weddings at Sandals or Beaches resorts? Uh, only that's financially, generally, generally, it, it's either going to be a financial re resistance or it's going to be it's just not a good fit for them because you have to remember Sandals is couples only. Right. So the the odds of having a large group of people that are all couples going to a destination wedding and wanting to share one king bed in a room, right? it's not, Very, that, not that great of an odds. If you have a right. small group, yes. So then what is their alternative? Their alternative to the Sandals brand is beaches, but right. they're all adults. So they're not really interested in going to a beaches resort all the time. So it's not always going to be the best fit. Right. And then also it can be a little bit more money. However, Sandals is a great product when it comes to um, they you don't have the extra cost for like the the um, the food and everything for your private event. So in sure. the end, it kind of balances out a little bit, but you kind of you really have to just work with each of your couples. Right. Individually. And you want to make sure you let your uh, let those couples know that if you're like, well, this is a little bit more than this resort, but you're going to save money on this end. So it's the key is really trying to just get the best fit for your client and hey, give them two or three options mm -hmm. that they can kind of mull over and don't, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay. 
And then Sharice uh, has, as a new agent with no experience in destination weddings, how do you determine a fee to start out with? Great question. That's Therese. a great question. Again, in order to charge a professional planning fee, you really have to have a process in place. You can't, you're not going to just start talking to somebody on the phone and tell them your fee. Right. Like you have to do follow things a, a certain way. Sharice, you are part of our program. So you are which, learning which I'm so happy. how to put, awesome. implement all of this. Right. And in our program, I do have an example list of services with an example professional planning fee for those of you who are brand new, just starting out. And for right. those of you who are more experienced um, and have been in the industry for a while, more like myself and ex my exact um, fee structure that I do. Um, right. But you have to do things a certain way, stack things a certain way, offer a certain value essentially, and then you can determine, you know, what you, what you want to, to have as a professional planning fee from that. So Sharice, that information is in the program. Um, so, uh, but that's a great question. I'm glad you brought it up because a lot of yeah. people would have that question. Absolutely. Um, did I book directly, um, go through a travel supplier? Highly recommend working with a travel supplier. I have a myriad of reasons why that right. I won't go get into for that. But over the years, I have definitely learned the hard way that working with a travel supplier makes your life easier. They have your back and it helps you like navigate this whole thing. Because especially when mm. you're new, like right. you you have a lot of questions when you're new. Like you want somebody who you can go to who can help you right. uh, answer some questions and that sort of thing. And travel suppliers, usually you make higher commission depending mm -hmm. on how much experience you have. But you'll make higher commission through a travel supplier as well. That's one of the things that we did. We never stopped working with travel suppliers. Every once in a while, if we're ever in a bind, like meaning the resort, these people just want this resort. This is the one. And for whatever reason, we cannot get things through the travel supplier the way we needed them to do at the resort. Then sometimes we've had, mm -hmm. but that's far and few between. Almost all of our weddings are through a travel supplier. We usually use classic vacations, but you can use GoGo -Go or Apple or, you know, Whatever you want to use that you're comfortable with. We love mm -hmm. classics, so we go to them the most. All right. So what are your two favorite resorts that I send wedding groups to? I'm not sure if I know how to answer that. That's a hard question. Well, I would say because it depends on, <laughs> it really depends, like we said, it depends on the couple. Yeah. So to be honest, I don't know if we have a favorite. For us, we have favorite resorts for us. Right. You know, I do love uh, Beaches, Turks, and Caicos for myself and yes. our family. Yes. Um, I love the Kahala in Hawaii. But my favorite brand, so brand, my favorite brand is the Four Seasons. Yes. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Like 17 people open the car door for you. It's really cool. <laughs> we, but, we like the luxury life, that's for sure. But really, it's yeah, all it depends about, on the couple. Again, that's why I do the consultation the way I do. That's why I ask the questions yeah. that I ask during my consultation. That's why I teach people how to do that whole thing, because you need to find exactly what's going to be a good fit, good yeah. fit and a good match for your clients. Right. Um, Danielle said, I booked my first wedding for August, 2023. Oh, that's awesome. Um, now I need more help with the room blockings. Will the program uh, teach me this? Yes. I yes. have an entire, um, module on how to do the whole group contract, set up the group, how to, um, you know, who to, the whole, yes. And then I also have an entire training on organizing your, um, your group. And congrats, by the way, yes, congratulations. congratulations. That's fantastic. First wedding group. That's amazing. And awesome. then how did you convince couples to book with you if you hadn't been there? I lost a honeymoon couple because they hadn't been to the destination they were mm. inquiring about. So again, right. that's a good question. Cause we had that question. Mm -hmm. What you're, what you're asking is like, we've had the same conversation when we first started in the business. Mm -hmm. I do want, you know, our first sale was a honeymoon couple and we sold them a sandals. Mm -hmm. We had never been to sandals, but what happened is we had, you know, sandals has so much training stuff out there. We did enough had done enough with their like little webinar things mm -hmm. and they where we felt confident enough. In all honesty, yeah. If you know 10% more than they know, then right. you know more than they know. And you know, you don't have to, I mean, I understand you don't want to lie to people. So if somebody asks you, have you ever been there? And you say, no, I totally get it. But if it doesn't come up, don't, you don't, even don't bring, bring it up. It. Mm -hmm. You know, I think part of it is arranging your consultation to where you are the expert yes. right off the bat. Like, Okay, tell me about your honeymoon. Tell, we have a whole breakdown of the consultation, how to do it in the 20K system to do it right. And that, that avoids these types of things. It can help a lot. I'm yeah. not going to say a couple will never ask you that, but we hardly ever, because we run our consultation a certain way, mm -hmm. they already kind of assume that we've been there. Yeah. They, they already and they assume. just assume that you know. 
Yeah, because right. you're asking anyway, just how you conduct yeah. the whole thing. And you could have been Game nervous, changing. you know, mm -hmm. it's okay. You're human. Yeah. You're allowed to be nervous, especially if you're newer or if you this is your first counsel. You know, it's okay. You're a human being, but we will train you up. We coach. That's what we do in our 20K program to coach you guys up to be able to have winning consultations and avoid your lack of inexperience because we've all, we don't have experience in everything. Mm -hmm. You know, Europe is not our baggy play. We, so all of us, we can't be everywhere. We, we don't know everything. None of us do. So there's ways of compensating so that you still give people a great experience without having to tell them mm -hmm. every single thing about yourself. Right, right. So meant to ask any resistance to your planning fee from couples planning a sandals wedding? I would say yes and no to that. Hmm. If a client has Big already question. set up their wedding at sandals and then they realize I need an agent to handle this, then in that situation, your yeah. professional planning fee would be a challenging thing to um, yeah. implement. But if you are catching them before they've even made a decision, before they have decided they're going to do sandals, before right. um, maybe they're thinking about sandals or they don't know which one, and you're at the very beginning and you conduct your cons consultation properly, then they will not question your professional right. planning fee. Absolutely. Because they want the help and they know from your the way you set up your consultation, they know that you are the one that's going to be able to help them. All right, Danielle, she's ready to roll. <laughs> well, awesome. I'm going to share that with you right now. Thank you, Danielle. I'll share. Oh. I'm going to share with you guys real quick. And I shouldn't have X out of my presentation the way I did earlier. So let me. Well, I'll tell you what. So Tammy, and she's not going to get, hopefully she doesn't get mad at me for telling you this, Danielle, or everybody else here. But Tammy is turning 50 this Saturday. I know she doesn't look it. We were just at Macy's yesterday, you guys. And we're telling them <laughs> that Tammy is going to be celebrating her 50th. And the ladies, like the young girl was like, you're 50? No. So I love that. But we are going to be doing something special for the 20K system to celebrate Tammy's 50th birthday party. We are opening the doors for one week only yeah. from now till Friday because Tammy's birthday is Saturday and we actually are going to be We're going to go on vacation. We're going to enjoy the perks. So Tammy is a twin sister who yeah. is going to, well, obviously she's a twin. They're both <laughs> turning 50. So um, they're going to be going to, uh, we're going to go to Dominican Republic. We're actually leaving tonight. So we're going to be opening five days, 50% 50, 50 off on the 20K program Yes, for Tammy's 50th birthday for five days. And um, we're starting it right now as we speak. Thank you, everyone. Oh, yeah, thank you oh, guys. Chris for is a twin, too. That's so really? cool. Really? Awesome. Chris, oh, that's awesome. All right. And then somebody and, else is turning 53 on the 23rd. Happy birthday uh, to yeah, you. Yeah, happy birthday. All right. So let me quick, real quick, um, go through we'll show Lightning you. Speed Reader's Digest version. What you'll get in the program. Yeah. Of what is included in 20K. And then we'll be sure to share where you go. So yeah. it is North America's premier destination wedding business is gonna business course. It's gonna show you exactly how to create and market your wedding business, your destination wedding business. And book the weddings too. Okay, so we're gonna jump into what's included. And um, <sighs> so we have several different modules. Everything's instant access, it's already ready for you to go. 20K right. wedding couple, like we talked about earlier. You need to have that. You need to know exactly who your ideal wedding couple is. So we're going to give you a detailed blueprint on how to discover this yeah. so that you can start attracting them like a magnet, right? We want right. to show you how to attract and book destination wedding clients, just like Susan experienced where yeah. she received and executed a contract for a destination wedding in September of 2022 in Barbados, expecting 100 guests. And then she goes on to say, thanks, Tammy and Lou, for the tips and instructions on how to attract destination wedding couples. So we're going to make right. sure you have the foundations of what you need in your business. And then the 20K Lead Accelerator. So this is going to be the process to grow your ideal wedding leads on autopilot. Remember how we talked about you want this opening up floodgate of leads while you sleep? This is that process. You need right. to have a system and a process in place to always be continually generating leads. Ariel said, wow, these modules are fantastic. Real-time information I can use to start at my destination wedding and honeymoon business and make it a success. And then yeah. what we've been talking about a lot here in the Q&A is the close, the consultation. Right. This really is a game changer for, I would say, more than 50% of the people who enroll in 20K. Oh. 
people, this, you this nail mod, this, this, and your module, success rate immediately starts going Yeah, up. this module alone, how to master the art of the consultation, mm -hmm. yeah. that will get you booked over and over again. So this is a um, uh, one of our planners who shared in our group. I still have three more con destination wedding consults set for next week. It's all because of the techniques I've learned about closing the sale, not giving away too much information in the consultation and charging what I am worth. Right. Since joining the 20K program, I have booked 15 weddings. I think now it's 20 something. I think she's at 22 now. So 22 weddings, two vow renewals. Thank you so much right. for the support, not only from Tammy and Lou, but also this community of awesome agents. We really are great. We community. have a great community, you guys. The yeah. community is there to support you. We mm -hmm. there, we're there, but we have great members mm -hmm. that will support each other too. It's a it's a win-win for everybody. Okay. And then the next thing, which we've also talked about a lot in the Q&A and earlier right. as well, is Any connecting you them? with that those venues that are really going to make you look like a rock star, right? We want to give your clients that fairy tale wedding. We mm -hmm. want you to look like a rock star. Ellen said, thank you, thank you, thank you. We booked, booked our first destination wedding, Dreams Riviera Cancun, 40 people. You're mm -hmm. a great inspiration and I appreciate you both. And then your in module five, we have your 20K wedding groups. So this is everything you need to know to easily set up and conduct those uh, those wedding groups. Right. So right. Um, do the group contracts, maximizing those benefits and those sales, keeping guests from going rogue, all of the, the organizational things, just understanding that the contracts, um, all of that is going to be talked about in module five module five right. and one of our planners pat shared this with us that she, he had a concept contract signed for a destination wedding in maldives for 60 right. rooms um it will be a family friendly wedding so anticipating more than 120 guests and it could be a four hundred thousand dollar sale Man, in the end that's amazing and talk he, about we that. haven't even done that talk about that that's being really a good. payday speaking and so there are some men in 20k it's not all women just yeah. want to let you know there are a few of us there's, in there. a, there's a few yep yeah. <laughs> And then, of course, your 20K payday. This is your your cheat sheet to securing the big commissions, bonuses, yeah. and traveling to those bucket list locations. Again, knowledge is power, right? right? And sometimes we think that we know everything that's available to us, and then we realize, oh, my gosh, this, this that was available to me the whole time, and I never did took advantage of it, right? So we want you to know how you can maximize your profits, get the most out of being in this industry yeah. for yourself, for your family, for your right. future. And, um, and then your social, we do have to talk about social media, right? We talked earlier about it's part becoming, of the world. becoming that expert and authority, using your social media the right way <clears throat> right. to get people to consult with you, right? But we want to give you some um, uh, plug and play social media profile templates and examples that turn your social media into a destination wedding lead generator, just right. like Veronica shared. Um, after watching Tammy's video on Playa Resorts, I posted a summary of what she reported. It resulted in booking two couples at Hyatt Zebra right. for four nights and making a $650 commission. I remember when she posted that. that yeah. Right. So, and we do have a certification for those of you who would like to um, fulfill that process of becoming right. a certified destination wedding specialist. We do have that available in our program. So, um, and we want you to know, we don't just give, I mean, we it is something that we we make sure you know what you're doing yeah this is our reputation for the 20k program is too important in the industry to not have you ready when you're going out there so right. we'll, we'll make sure you're ready and it's not a gimme but people are earning it and you can earn it but it, it's we're not just going to hand it to you right and daniel said that 20k has helped her tremendously i honestly don't think i would have taken the leap to do this full time mm. without the help guidance and support that you lou and the rest of the community have given me i'm forever grateful for that so a lot of people in our program yeah they want they they have that goal to quit their nine to five right well and danielle i want you guys to know daniel started danielle started as a wedding planner not even mm. in the travel business so many of you are already one leg up because you've already been in the travel right. world you just haven't been able to turn the corner she started from scratch yes. as a wedding planner and now has really been yep. doing and, great and got involved in our course and she's yeah going right. gangbusters yeah. um so here's what you'll receive we do have the 20k system which is the modules that we just went through the, right. the seven modules and all, all the, training. the trainings and then we have the toolkit side which are those are your downloadables those are the plug and play Lots those of are the plans. you know fill in the blank you know copy right. and paste stuff to make your life easier like i had mentioned earlier 
um, to Sharice about your list of services. And so I give you yeah. two examples, my example of what I include in my list of services and my fees. And then an example, if you're brand new, um, your client, an example, client contract, the whole consultation blueprint of, of um, kind of how yeah. to conduct it and what, and um, the process of that and just some yeah. tips, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty much yes. Questions. anything that yeah. you need for the training is going to be a downloadable template that mm -hmm. you're going to have at your fingertips, including email, welcome email sequences, mm -hmm. a email sequence to give to your wedding party after they book to keep them all in communication with you. We've literally automated and taken care of yeah. everything we could think of that you would need. And yeah. if we think of something new, we put in there. That's right. An example, we have example verbiage of what to say, like yes. when you're, you know, sending a client a contract and how the perks or how the amenities and things work. Like we have verbiage that you can just copy and paste so that you know how to explain that to right. them. And then we do have some freebies, um, not freebies, some goodies that we add in there. They, I guess they're freebies, right? They're like bonuses or whatever. Yeah. I mean, they're, so we do have, they're extras that everybody gets to have for just so, joining the program. Right. Just for, for enrolling. So we have six weeks of live coaching with, with Lou and I, where we come with you together with a, in a small group yeah. um, of just the people that are newly enrolled and we get down and dirty on getting clear on getting your business set up, answering right. those questions, trying to have a little bit more custom, custom right. personalized experience for so you. So we're not going to leave you alone. Now those right. are going to start for all the people that joined this week during this birthday special. Uh, we'll be starting in early December. We'll be starting December 13, 13. So yeah. that'll give you time to get in the system, get through Thanksgiving. We mm -hmm. know that we know it's a busy time because the holidays were busy too, mm -hmm. but uh, we want to do, we don't want to wait till January because we got to get your businesses yeah. up and running get and going. Get some of these things in place. Wedding mm -hmm. season's coming. Right. Exactly. Uh -huh. We have our Facebook group, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, Terry Lynn said, I wanted to say, I appreciate the community, all the travel professionals that are willing to connect network and support. It's greatly appreciated. We yeah. have um, the rapid growth bundle, we call it. This is our, our other bonus yeah. where we show you how to use Facebook groups. We have a social selling launch kit, including 30 done for you destination wedding graphics. With Nikita we have, Brown, maybe you know her. We have um, the Let Your Lead Magnet Fly Masterclass with uh, Nicole Barrett so that you can yeah. start getting growing your leads list right away. We also have a um, ultimate business protection because we want to make sure you're covered from all and all aspects in right. your business. Right. So we've going to, we've got a training um, <clears throat> on beyond the coverage, which is covering errors and emissions, but your business yeah. insurance. And then we have a training on contracts and all the things that you need to understand for privacy policies, compliance, and right. all of that for your business. And as both, well. both of these uh, people are part of our, our 28 former 28 or current 28 planners. So right. no, there's no former, the program is still going. Right. <laughs> so we do have a special opportunity for you today. We already talked about that, but I want you to ask yourself, what is this worth to me? What is it worth to me to know that I have a community to come to for <laughs> any question that I could have? What is it worth to me to know that I could make $10,000 from a destination wedding and do it over and over and over again for as many years as I want to do it? What's it worth to me to know that I could literally charge a $2,000 professional planning fee and know that people will pay it and do that over and over and because, over again? And they will. I promise you, as you do the consultation right, they will. Right. So we did have to, when we put a value on our program and everything, we just went through lightning right. speed fast. Sorry about that. Um, right. We did put a value of $16,000 on that. Obviously, that's not what the offer is today. So don't panic. No, but that's quickly. really the real world value. That's the real world so. value of of what we have in inside of our course. And really, in all honesty, probably more than that, just because uh, of. We're always know, updating it, mm -hmm. too. Uh, lifetime updates. And we decided that the, the course, uh, the, not the course, the program itself was $29.97. That's like yeah. the normal price that we would sell and offer this, right. um, in the investment price for our 20K system and toolkit. But because it's your birthday because and you're turning 50, which I still can't believe it because you don't Guess play what? it. Yeah, we 50, are going to get 50% off. 50% off. Your birthday uh, offer. Uh, uh, it is $14.97, uh, uh, and uh, there are, though, payment options yes. as well. Yes. Now, you save the most money by just buying it off. And by the way, whatever you spend in 2022 on your business, you can use all of it as a write off in right. 2023 on your taxes. So right. sometimes the bigger payment, it's, it's the, it's the, 
best savings. It's the best value. Because with when we do payment plans, we have to pay extra to process the payment plans and it takes uh -huh. more money out of right. the uh, cost. So right. that's why. But we understand everybody's in a different spot. So we, these are our payment plans that we have. Right. So you can do the one payment of $14.97. You can do six payments of $257. So that'd be $257 today. Yep. Five additional <clears throat> payments of $257, 30 days apart. Right. Um, or you can do um, 12 payments of $157, which would be $157 today, 11 additional payments, 30 days apart. So right. to enroll and to see and read and take time if you need to, to go over everything that's included. Like I said, we went through it really fast. Right. You can go to 20k, um, to 20K event yep. And we'll put that link in the Facebook group too. So let me just go ahead and um, just show again, these, the, the payments. And then, then of course you yep. can go to 20 K event day.com. So let me go ahead and put those in the comments here for you real quick. Yep. And um, Lou, you can take it away while I'm All busy right. here. No, and we really have put of it. So you can look over the page, gives you a review, probably even more because we had to go quickly because we didn't want to keep you guys way late. Um, there is, you know, you're going to see even more on the page of what you get. But uh, we definitely, you know, will love to welcome you inside the 20K system. We understand that everybody's in a different spot in life. But if you can make it work, get, get in before the wedding season. The wedding season is just a couple weeks away. And let's get your business ready. So first of January, mm -hmm. you can be out there and you can be, you know, getting all the things in place that 20K teaches you. Right. Um, you know, and that's the part that we really want. And we can't wait to join you in this journey yes. you know, with you. Like I said, December 13th will be our first coaching session. And, um, and the have... special offer is available through the end of this week. So right. Friday at 4 So if you need Eastern. to talk to your spouse or talk to your significant other, or time to think about it. You've got five days, but it will close 4 p.m. Pacific mm -hmm. on Friday. So um, from now until Friday, we're going to do the birthday enrollment. Yes. And then just as a reminder, everything that's included, you have all of the modules, you have the entire toolkit, you have uh, videos of of um, kind of how-to videos, tech frustration eliminator, we call that. Oh, yeah. We've got a virtual tour library. So we've got right. tons of knowledge in there of all the brands and things that we recommend. We have spe wedding specific webinars essentially right. that are housed in our in our library. Every single month we go live and we do a Q&A where you submit your questions um, in advance and then we come live yeah. with our group in a Zoom meeting and we answer right. those questions. And of course, the, even um, in the Facebook community, you can ask a question in the, in the community and people can chime in and say, hey, I'm using this program or I do it this way or, you know, whatever your question is, we have, right. you know, we have a great community of people. To well, why don't we go answer. to any questions? Some of you may have questions now or Danielle, you may, yeah, some of you may have questions right now because, you know, we understand it's an investment. Right. It's an investment and, but it will pay off. I mean, 1497 uh one time and you can make that all back in one planning fee it's yes. uh, pretty amazing okay let's go to the questions here real quick yeah. if you have any questions let us know all right um all right Cherise said joining 20k is the best decision i've made since being uh -huh. in the travel industry oh thanks, Charisse, you're Charisse. and Cherise, i'm excited you are coming to our 20k retreat i can't wait to meet you in person 20k retreat is completely full but I'm so glad Sharice is coming. Yeah, we do we do fun things like that too. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to join your community. Happy birthday, Tammy and her twin. Thank oh, you, Nicole. Thanks, Nicole. That's so sweet. Mm. All right. This is great. All right. Maybe I mean you know somebody else said they're celebrating their 50th coming up. Oh. Oh, the Claudia's birthday is on the 18th. So oh, wait, Claudia, your mine. birthday is one day before Tammy's. Happy birthday, Claudia. And Claudia, I still I'm not gonna say your age because I know that's not polite, but you look amazing and no one would ever believe your yeah. age because you look, you are so healthy. And when you told I me how to be like really Claudia, were, yeah, <laughs> when we grow up, right? That's right. All right. Let me quickly, for those of you who are still here, I want to just show you kind of how this works. Once right. you go to 20 K event day.com. So you'll go to 20 K event day.com. You'll be um, able to see all the inclusions and everything, but you do have um the ability to get started today so basically you'll sure. find the option that works best for you and click here to well first you'll scroll down and click here to enroll now so you'll you'd click that button 
on the page on 20keventday.com. And then you're going to choose the option that's best for you. Right. And once you choose the option that's best for you, whether it's pay in full, six payments, 12 payments, then you're going to be opening up basically an order form where you can um, submit your details, which all of us know how to buy online because that's just the way of the world. So I don't think you probably have questions about that. Probably but not. then you'll receive an email with your login details right away. You'll be able to set up your login yeah, right you, away. You can create your own login and password right create away. Create your own yeah. login and password right away and have instant access and get started right away. So right. you'll come into the member area and boom, you'll see the 20K system. We've got a whole welcome section and um, and then you'll see, be able to see all right. the... Um, now we do have a bonus if it works out that you can do the pay in full. Mm -hmm. We are giving a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with Tammy and I. Yes. Anyone that can afford to do the and has the means to do the pay in full, we don't want to pick on anyone or punish anyone for not being able to do that. Right. But we also know that that's a bigger risk. Paying in full is a bigger risk for people when it comes to like, hey, uh, I could slowly pay it or I'm just going to go for it all at once. So yeah. we feel like, hey, you took a big risk. So we're going to give you the one on one coaching call to give you extra support. Uh, but you don't, you know, you're going to get the program will work whether you pay in full or not. Right. But Love and we recommend coaching. usually because we have the six live coaching calls with you first as a group, yeah. it's really more advantageous for you to set up that one on one call after you're done with those six live coaching calls or at least through a certain portion of. Yeah, because you otherwise hold on to it till you're ready to really we want yeah, to make it the maximum. Benefit. Really, really maximize it, because otherwise right. we may cover your question in one of our live group coaching calls. And, you know, you right. want to make sure. And we do have a money back. Um, no risk. Yes. Action. Take 30 day action. Taker guarantee. 30 day so guarantee. We allow yeah. you to get in there, get get plugged in, get started 30 days. Start putting yes. start implementing the strategies and the techniques that we show you how to do the systems, the processes, everything. We right. really truly guarantee we have so many people that have had success with this. Obviously, we're basically just showing you everything we did in our business. So we already know that it's success. Right. Like we already know it's like a proven framework, right? Because we did it in our business. So then we're showing you how to do it in your business. Well, and, and it's everybody been working who follows it. Yeah. When you look at our page, you'll see all the or even go on the mm -hmm. Facebook, you'll see all the 28 planners that are doing great things. Yeah. So we look forward to welcoming you yes. to the 20K system and to, to our 20K family. Yes, that's we right. We love to welcome you to the 20K family. Hope it, we hope it works out for you, obviously. Um, Tammy and I are always working on making things as accessible and work as well as possible. So. And Danielle said, thank you. I love the offer. I'll be joining by Friday. All right. Awesome, awesome Danielle. Danielle. We yeah. can't wait to welcome you. Awesome. And oh, you're We're welcome, Sharice. Believe me, Sharice, it's, it's going to be exciting to meet you. It's going to be fun. So I'm very excited about it. Okay. Well, I think that's all we had for today. Yeah. And um, now we got to get ourselves ready to go on our, our vacation. Tammy's going on her 50th birthday trip. So while we're on the birthday trip, I still think we should check in with people sometime down there. Lou's going to check in with you while we're on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do the check in and I'll say, Tammy's having no, a good time. Look, everybody. Yeah, that's right. That's right. No, that's why Heather's Heather's available to us. No, no, I don't mean that. I mean, like, give a, like, from Dominican, be like, hey, everybody. Oh, and yeah, yeah. That I'll kind do. of thing. Follow me on I'm the, enjoying my birthday. That kind of thing. Follow me on the social. All right. You follow know, Tammy on social. You and know then, the drill there. I'm always going to be showing up there. So. All right. Cherise said a welcome to all oh. the new 20K members. Thanks, Cherise. Yay! Again, and you guys, Sharice is an example of how all the 20K members are. They they are like that. They're so friendly. They welcome people. They help people. So you're going to fit right in. And uh, let's get this thing. Let's get your business going for the new wedding season. That's right. That's right. So, um, yeah, definitely go to 20keventday.com. Oh, and I forgot to mention on that page, um, mm. if you scroll down, we do have a video that shows you behind the scenes of what's oh, yeah. There's included. a sneak peek. Yes. Um, so, it, so Danielle, you might like that too. If you want to take mm -hmm. a sneak peek of everything inside, there's a video that kind of Tammy walks through the inside, the inners of the 20K system. Most people, they get in there, they have no idea. Like, it's just so chock full right. of everything. Like, it's like, whoa. Um, it's not overwhelming. Whoa. It's just like, oh, wow. I forgot that they, I didn't realize they were going to include all of this stuff right. to make everything so much easier for me to implement. So, and I'm so excited. Claudia's birthday is the day before yours. I, I know. know. Happy so. birthday. Happy Day. birthday, Claudia. Have a great birthday week, Claudia. Yeah. I don't know if she's still here. I hope she is. 
All right. Awesome. Okay. So um, everybody have a great rest of your day. And Danielle yeah. said that she'd love to connect with Sharice. So hopefully oh. the two of you guys can figure yeah. that out Absolutely. and have a great week and have a great Thanksgiving. We will not be live next week. Right. Um, we will still be in Dominican trying to, but I'm still been trying to work on Tammy doing an impromptu Facebook live from a Dominican. I'm still working on her. We'll, we'll see. But it Every, is her vacation. Everybody needs a it's real her birthday vacation. Treat. <laughs> it's her birthday treat. So, I mean, her birthday trip, not treat. I guess hopefully it's a treat too, but yeah. it's her birthday trip. I have to be respectful of that. That's but right. That's I right. love reaching out to you guys whenever we can. So, all right, everyone take care. All right. God, God bless. bless.